hi and hello guys so the cat is out the big daddy of internet google has now forayed into the uh, maker club so a couple of days earlier they released the uh, google home assistant uh, sdk for uh, raspberry pi users and they did not just stop with the software release they have gone ahead and uh, provided a hardware kit as well to give the users a wholesome experience so this kit comes for free with the 57th uh, issue of the Magpie magazine. So let us dig into it and see as to what it contains and I'll give you an overview of all the stuff that comes with the kit. So this is the final breakdown of the kit. You have the cardboard cutout which forms the shell of the project and then you have a single uh, 4 ohm 3 watt speaker and then this is a dual uh, microphone or a stereo microphone setup and then the voice hat so just like any other raspberry pi hat this uh, fits onto the uh, gpio header an arcade style button uh, interestingly enough it is backlit with an led and then of course you have the connectors for the microphone and switches and then the additional uh, header pins and a push button momentary switch and then two spacers for your voice hat this is the uh, dual channel microphone or a stereo microphone port which comes with the AIY projects kit so as you can see uh, you have two microphones positioned on the board one on the left and other on the right so if you are uh, one of them uh, who implemented the Alexa Pi build on a Raspberry Pi so you will definitely appreciate uh, this microphone board because uh, the major issue with the Alexa Pi build on a Raspberry Pi was the system's ability to recognize your voice so most of them used a USB DAC uh, with, which had both the uh, 3.5 mm uh, jack slot for a speaker and the microphone or uh, some used uh, webcam as a microphone the issue with uh, both these uh, microphones was that uh, you couldn't get the system to detect your voice across your room and uh, it didn't have a, that much of a reach and so i believe uh, this board since it has two microphones will have a better reach and uh, will be able to recognize your voice better uh, from any point uh, across the room So here is the voice hat which is the heart of your uh, AIY projects kit. So like any other uh, Raspberry Pi hat this will uh, fit on top of the uh, GPIO header pins. And then uh, you have an extension of the GPIO pins over here on the hat as well. So you have the ITC bus, the SPI interface and then uh, you have two servo driver slots which can also function as uh, individual GPIO pins. So you have one uh, so driving pins over here and then you have the second set of uh, Soho drivers over here so the difference between these two is that uh, the one on your left can take a maximum load of uh, 25 milliampere each but uh, these drivers over here on the right uh, can take a load of say 500 milliampere per channel as uh, this board uh, uses so much of uh, power you cannot use your uh, micro usb conventional micro usb to power your raspberry pi and the hat so that is why uh, you need an additional power supply and google rightly has provided a, a dc jack over here so by default uh, the speaker operates in a mono audio configuration and so that is why you just have one uh, audio connector block over here so if you want a stereo audio output you need to solder the jumper over here solder jumper and then add a uh, second block over here and tap out the second channel of audio and then uh, you have the headers for uh, the arcade style button and the microphone so that is pretty much it about the hat so this is the LED which provides the backlighting to your arcade style button so these are not bi-directional like any other LEDs uh, they have polarity and uh, if you can see uh, one uh, leg of the LED has a 
more number of uh, bends than the other one so that is your positive or the anode the other one is the cathode so if you have any uh, doubts regarding this you can always uh, check up the polarity of the led with a multimeter and uh, apart from that uh, this is the button by itself so some have got a green colored button and some have got a red colored arcade style button and these form the other connections of your momentary push button so the instructions are uh, pretty straightforward and simple the instructions are given in the magpie magazine and with the same amount of detail they are given in the uh, AIY projects google home page so in a matter of uh, minutes you can uh, assemble them and say if you are not using the i2c headers or the spi headers or the servos for time being you need not solder them as well so if you are not uh, using the servo loads uh, you can uh, still use your uh, micro usb power supply of your raspberry pi so let us just uh, assemble the kit and then get started with the installation of the google assistant so the box is ready uh, pi is fitting into the box uh, pretty snugly and then you have the button on top over here and the two microphones so next step is to get the os ready so let us uh, burn the os onto an sd card and boot up the pi okay so to get started uh, download the copy of uh, the digital version of magpie there uh, you will have the uh, links to the AIY projects page uh, I will also leave the links in the description of this video so if you click on that uh, it will take you to this page over here so again uh, you have all the detailed instructions whatever you had in the magpie magazine you have the same uh, here as well so if you just scroll down move over to get the voice kit SD image and then click on the link over here to download the image and then uh, you can use either the uh, hr.io or uh, even uh, if you have uh, the win32 disk imager uh, you can use that as well so open uh, win32 disk imager and then uh, open up the AIY projects 2017503 image and then choose open and then choose write and then choose yes after this uh, you can exit eject your SD card uh, plug it into the uh, Raspberry Pi and put up the uh, Pi okay so now uh, once you boot into the pi first uh, you need to connect to the wi-fi click on the uh, wi-fi icon over there and uh, and then connect your network so once wi-fi is connected open the browser and uh, they have already bookmarked the uh, AIY projects page web page here so click on that it should take you straight to the projects page and before that you can uh, check your audio choose yes if you hear the audio And next uh, step is to check your uh, microphone as well and it says uh, when you are ready press enter and say testing one two three press enter testing one two three testing one two three so you will hear back uh, your audio choose yes I should say that uh, definitely the microphone quality is awesome Okay, so you have uh, verified that uh, your audio is working and then close this terminal 
go to the projects page uh, you need to go into the cloud console uh, within the projects page uh, you will have a section called connecting uh, to google uh, cloud platform go into that section and then choose and then uh, click on the cloud console uh, button over here or the option open it in a new tab and now uh, you need to link it uh, with your uh, google account so once you log in into the uh, google cloud platform you'll uh, be prompted with a dialog box like this choose yes if you want updates on this uh, choose yes otherwise leave it as no and then uh, you need to agree to the uh, terms of service and then choose agree and continue and now uh, you see an option called uh, create a project next to the uh, google cloud platform choose that and then uh, click on the plus symbol over here to create a new project give it a name i would call it a ai test and then choose create so after you create a project uh, you will get a notification in this uh, bell icon over here click on that and then uh, click on the project that you just created and then uh, immediately your project will be selected and uh, you will have various options appearing over here and now choose api manager And then choose enable api so there are a list of apis available over here so if you find the uh, google assistant api uh, difficult to spot you can uh, click on the search bar over here and choose and then type google assist and as soon as you type uh, assist you will get the option called google assistant api click on that and then choose enable and now uh, click on credentials choose create credential and then from the drop down choose uh, oauth uh, client id click on the uh, configure consent screen and uh, give your product a name so i would call it rpy g assist and then choose save so now if you go back you will have all these uh, options enabled choose other and call it whatever name you want so i would again call it rpy g assist choose create and then click ok click on the checkbox over here now uh, click on the uh, download button over here so this will uh, download your uh, json file and now minimize this browser and go into the uh, downloads folder copy this to your desktop and rename this as assistant So move this uh, assistant uh, dot json to home slash pi over here. But inside the activity control, you need to enable the web and app activity, and then location history, device information, voice and audio activity. So once uh, you are done uh, enabling all these uh, activity controls minimize your uh, browser and then and then open the 
start a DAV terminal. Here, type the following command. It is src forward slash main dot pi. Then press enter. Now an uh, authorization uh, URL will automatically open in your web page. Click on your Google account and then authorize the sign in. Choose allow. Now you will get a confirmation that authentication flow has completed. And so now uh, your device is up and running. So let me just uh, change the focus onto the device now. Okay, so now uh, you can see a uh, slow pulse on the uh, arcade button. So to start the interaction with the device, you need to press the arcade button once and then start communicating with the device. What is the time now? The time is 1.43 a.m. How is the weather? Currently in Waterford, it's 11 degrees Celsius and mostly cloudy. It'll be cloudy today with a forecasted high of 14 and a low of 7. So instead of uh, using the uh, arcade button or the Google Assistant or the AIY project, you can also use uh, your clap or uh, say finger snap as a trigger to start your interaction with the uh, Google Assistant. So to do that, go into the home and then forward slash pi and then uh, right click and choose show hidden and then choose dot config and then open the uh, voice recognizer dot ini so by default uh, you will have your uh, gpio or the arcade button as your trigger now if you remove this uh, hash mark over here your uh, the clap or your finger snap becomes your active trigger so instead of uh, interacting with the device by pressing on the arcade button, you can also communicate with the device by snapping your fingers or clapping. What is the weather now? In Waterford, it's 11 degrees Celsius and mostly cloudy. It'll be cloudy today with a forecasted high of 14 and a low of 7. Who are you? I'm your Google Assistant. How can I help you? So as you can see, I'm not a native uh, English speaker, but then uh, it is recognizing my uh, language, my dialect, and it is recognizing whatever I'm saying spot on. Who is the President of the United States? The President of the United States of America is Donald Trump. Okay, let me see if it... Uh, Detects my sounds from the knuckles. Who are you? I'm your Google Assistant. What time is it now? The time is 1.55 a.m. So it is, it is picking up everything from my knuckle breaks to, you say, even my... I don't know, even if I cough or something, it could pick up. <coughs> Who are you? I'm your Google Assistant, and I know a lot of interesting facts. So I guess even if somebody knocks on the table or something, it will pick up as a clap trigger, I believe. Let us test uh, that out as well. Hi. Hi, 
Shiva. How can I help? Do you know who is Siri? Siri is Apple's intelligent assistant. She's very witty. So who is better, you or Siri? I just try to be the best me I can be. Who is Cortana? Cortana works for Microsoft. Plus, she's got her own video game franchise. She's got it all. <laughs> Add a new reminder. Sorry, create reminder is not yet supported. Damn. Okay, so it doesn't support reminders. It doesn't support uh, news. So let's see whether it supports uh, alarms. Set an alarm for 8. Alarm set for 8 p.m. Hmm. Alarms are working, but it doesn't do reminders. So I already have an if recipe in place uh, for uh, my Node MCU. So let's see whether it is able to utilize the uh, if recipe. Turn on the lamp. Turning on the lamp. Okay, so it is turning it on. It means it can interact with if. Okay, so that is pretty much it guys. So you can just go through the uh, AIY projects page to try out uh, something new. And that is pretty much from me now. I hope you find this video useful and informative. Thank you.